It is common in dramatic events. Uh. KBO! I'm, uh, I am engaged in a presentation. This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by PortCityCoin.com <laughs> Very well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it is common in uh, in great dramatic events, as as these are by New Hampshire standards, to dwell only upon the targets of the action. Milosevic in 1999, Noriega uh, ten years previous, and the undeniable wickedness of each man as well as the many who have uh, fallen in front of this empire before and since. But what is so oft forgotten is the fate of the unoffending uh, passerby, accidentally or intentionally exploded, purposefully or haphazardly separated from their ownings uh, by the unaccountable hand of monopoly government. We may be grateful that only uh, the latter appears to have befallen uh, the randomly present motel guests. Even if a deed is exception, uh, uh, even if a deed is execution worthy, as those of these three guests were not, it must not be revenged upon those who did not commit it. And the many traveling guests, random, who had come to Manchester's Quality Inn with expectation of rest, uh, but uh, then became suddenly ejected en masse by government gunmen from their overnight abodes. Uh, well, they, they, uh, they certainly did not commit it. Uh, Channel 9 reports uh, that they were separated from their possessions and even forbidden from their own vehicles for many hours after the siege had completed, and all the rebellious participants in it had become ghosts. Then, on the day following, uh, representatives of New Hampshire's Attorney General made the, uh, the astonishing admission that it might still be several more days before these... Uh, uh, b uh, yeah. uh, several more... <clears throat> Several more um, days, days of several more days before these uh, unaccustomed, um, these, these unaccused, in many cases out of town bystanders, would even be allowed to gather their belongings. Uh, and many, uh, imagine yourself, one moment, imagine yourself uh, in their position, uh, far, far from home, and stripped for days of, of nearly all. Uh, Stripped for days of, uh, stripped for days of nearly all uh, you had, of nearly all you had brought along. We may, uh, we may at least ask, uh, uh, though lamentably few seem to be asking, what cause is so undeniably just uh, that it uh, countenances a breach of this kind, against innocence of this kind? What was so endlessly occurring, and needful? Inside this, uh, inside the, uh, yeah, butter, inside this, uh, inside this motel room turned sarcophagus, where only the dead resided. Was there a, an aura of hazard stretching for many meters and for days outside the long subdued chamber? Uh, what deed, if any, had to be hidden or undone before the random civilians so gruffly expelled uh, could be allowed to even briefly visit their own rentals? The answer is not complex, and the waters uh, need not be muddied. The cause was the endless failed devastationism of this empire's war, not only upon drugs, but upon the bodies and even rooms which might contain them. 
not only upon the users and merchants, but upon the random victims of state, who in some cases love their overlords and their shooting wars, but then find themselves in the wrong motel. If an intrusion upon the bystander is the minimum necessary stratagem to accomplish their safety, then let it be for their actual safety. <laughs> let, let, uh, uh, that's what... Uh, and not and not for the uh, the at best counterproductive warfare upon substance possession. Ah, mm. uh, uh, this debacle and in the mall of New ha <coughs> mall of New Hampshire and the alleged opioid emergency. Ah, uh, it's a. Uh, it did not occur in an environment of, of drug freedom. It occurred, uh, they occurred, under the government's program of prohibition. Uh, and ought to be lain at its jack boots. Mm. Boots. Surely uh, there cannot be a crisis in banned substances, uh, for, uh, for banned substances have been banned. <sighs> Perhaps we shall never know for certain precisely what happened to each of these dead. Only the official version of the tale, uh, the Manchester uh, Free Stater, Mrs. Garrick, has, has called for an independent inquiry. Our governments uh, are... Uh, are want to investigate themselves and determine they did nothing wrong. We may be grateful uh, that none of the adjoining bystanders were injured and that our enforcive foes, whose human rights we still cherish, were not struck. Meanwhile, the gadflies of the communication webs have been busy industriously thumbing their savage expressions of contentment at the killings, lavishing their obsequiousness upon uh, the lethal monopolists who stole their money to do it and would, uh, would do it to them uh, without question were they to offer similarly daring resistance against police ingress of even the most odious kind. Lamentable self more is to come. Winston will be back. Mm. He is coming. He is on his way. Mm. He is, uh, mm. 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 Odious kind. The ingress of the most odious kind. Uh, but how long will it be, if it has not already happened, before your favored enforcing organizations and unaccountable killing devices are turned against... Uh, uh, your loved ones or neighbors, uh, how long until they are turned against you? It is not primarily a crime problem which Manchester suffers, but a police, and possibly more significantly, uh, significantly in this case, a federal police problem. Uh, whether by misguidance or fear, it is likely you, in constabulary forces, will continue to do your worst. But we shall do our best. The growing, literally, and prospering earth will not forever countenance your terminations of the flawed but not executable offenders you created, then destroyed. Rare coins, pawns, gold and silver bullion, Check out Port City Coin in Portsmouth, New Hampshire for your precious metal needs. 
A plus rated with the Better Business Bureau. Happy to do a cash transaction. Why buy your medals from one of those slave state mints when you can support the free state economy? Visit PortCityCoin.com, or our, as I like to call it, PortCityCoin.com.